Today, we're going to go through how I installed Seamless M4T, a meta product, on my Apple MacBook Air M1. There might be some redundancies in the process, but it seems to work well for me. I'm running a MacBook Air M1 with 8 gigabytes of memory and Sonoma 14. I'll run and install this on an external Sabrent hard drive, and there's a video on how I made that too. Using the search engine of your choice, go ahead and type in download seamless M4T, and a couple of options come up. I would go ahead and select the one that shows seamless communication. And when you click on that, it takes you to the page that has a download of the model from GitHub. There's also some good information on this page that you can scroll down and take a read of. But let's go back to the top and then go ahead and select the GitHub link. When we click, click that, it takes us to GitHub and it's worth reading this page. It's seamless communication. And as you scroll down, you'll see some good information on how you can install it on different platforms. It covers 101 languages for speech input, 96 for text outputs, there's speech to speech, speech to text, text to speech, and text to text, and different languages, of course. And as you scroll down, you'll see commands and things that you need to have. For example, fair SEQ2 is something that's needed. And as you scroll down further, you'll see that there's also a lib SND file that uh, needs to be installed. So let's go over to fair SEQ2 and take a look at what we might want to install from here. Let's scroll down until we get for, to the installation instructions for the Mac OS. And here we are. We need to install the lib send file using brew. If you don't have brew, you need to go and install that first. Once that's installed, you can copy this command to your terminal. As we're doing here, we paint a picture, we copy it, move over to our terminal, and here I'm going to go into my virtual environment that I've created for this exercise. And that virtual environment is AI translations. And right here I'm going to post that brew command and the install kicks off. It's pretty quick. And this is real time. It's not speeded up. So then we go back to the screen to find the command to install the fair seq2 which is just underneath it and so we go ahead and copy that and then we jump back to our terminal and paste that command into the terminal and this again is real time and the installation proceeds so let's wait till it completes We see here that there is a pip install upgrade available. And uh, so we may want to go ahead and do that at some point. So going back to the top, what we can do is click back to seamless communication. That's the first tab that we were on and copy the, uh, the link at the top and then type in the words git clone and paste that URL that's on seamless communication. And when you hit that, it starts the installation process for seamless communication. And that was quick, it was done very fast. But we're going to go ahead and make sure that the install is successful because I've had instances where it appears that the install didn't take. So I went back to the fair SCQ, copied the URL and typed in git clone and then that URL, and it looks like it was installed here. So moving on, we then go back to the instructions on Seamless and look at the command line. There's a pip install space dot for seamless.communication, which I have not used, and it still seems to work. So this command line, the M4T predict, is the command line we'll use to actually run the translation application. So scrolling down just to make sure there's nothing else that we need to do. 
uh, we come across Sona and Stopes. And I found that installing both of these helps the translation work. So jump to the GitHub Stopes repository, copy the URL link, and then type in git clone and paste that URL. And Stopes is cloned on to your machine. Then as you scroll down, you see that you can install Stopes with the pip instruction. And we've already done the git clone part. We probably could have copied that link and pasted that and completed the whole thing. Since we did not, we now need to copy cd Stopes and paste that into the command line. And then pip install command, copy that, and paste that onto the command line and execute. And that should complete our install of Stopes. Going back to the instructions, we can see that there is still something we need to install. Those error messages you see there, they can be disregarded based on these instructions. So back to the Sona repo. Little explanation of what it does. And once again, we go up to the URL copy that, bring it back to our terminal, and type git clone. I see the directory is changed, so we need to change the directory back out of Stopes. Then git clone, and paste that URL link, and that installation is completed. I'm looking at the codes that apply to each language here. ITA is for Italian, and FIN is for Finnish, etc. It's good to know when we need the instructions to do a translation. One last thing I found helps with the execution of this program is making sure that you have PYTORCH, PyTorch, installed. So if you go to the PyTorch site, you can go ahead and select the variables that apply to you. We want a stable version, Mac, PIP, Python, default, and the command appears on the bottom. So all we have to do is copy that pip3 install torch, torch vision, torch audio command, go back to our terminal and post and execute that. And that installs the torch component of this process. Now let's go back to the terminal and clear that out. Then go back to our pages and close the pages that we don't need. And then let's move on to looking at the directories that are established. So here we can see that the drive is called AI drive. Under users, we are under the AI user. And then we're under seamless communication. And there are directories. We need to go ahead and add a folder where we can store our source files and destination files. So I'm making a file a directory called audio, and I see that it's not in the right place, so we'll drag it right under seamless, and it pops right to the top. There it is, audio. And we need to go ahead and put a source file in there, and I'll be back. This is the command language that we need to put into the terminal to translate the source file and store it in a destination. So let's take a look at what the directory shows. There we have the AI translation and we have seamless communication. So we need to go into seamless communication and there execute that command. That command structure allows for an input file and an output file. And so let's go look at the uh, input file. I moved one over. So if we go back and take a look and paste that command in here. You can see I've used the name here. And let's see if that file is still there. So seamless communication audio, and there's the file. Let's listen to it. 
As a renowned riddles expert, your task is to create five interesting quick riddles. That's the message that we're going to translate. And here's the command line. We have the M4T predict and then the path to the source file as1.mp3. Uh, and it says S2S, -S, that speaks to speech. And from there, uh, it shows a destination file. So let's go back and take a look at that. And here we are. And the audio, that's the input file. When the process is completed, once we hit the uh, execute button, uh, we'll end up with an output file, which we'll listen to in a minute. Now the process is slow on my M1. It takes about 15 minutes to process through the whole cycle. So we're going to fast forward through some of these screens at a multiplied speed of about uh, 20 times for most of them. This first screen is where it's thinking, and that's one minute. And then here we are at seven minutes. Seven minutes of nothing happening. Meanwhile, that Sabrin case is getting pretty warm. It's quite uh, um, an energy uh, hog in terms of execution. And then once we get past that, it moves over to using the cached databases. And once it's past this, it goes and picks up the source file, converts it, and puts it out in the audio folder. And that took another six minutes here. So here we are at the end. And there it is. It's completed. So what we'll do next is we'll go and take a look at the file and listen to the end output in Spanish. Now, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know how effective that translation is going to be. So if you have any thoughts, that'd be appreciated. And I did use a complex sentence that left some uncertainty as to where it was going to see how this might work. It sounds good to me, but that doesn't mean that the Spanish is solid. So that's the install and execution of the seamless M4T. So let's go and take a look at the files. There it is, as1out.mp3. Now let's listen to that. Como un renombrado experto en acrujos, su tarea es crear cinco interesantes acrujos rápidos. That's the Spanish translation. Would those of you who speak or understand Spanish let me know whether the translation's uh, representative of original message? The plan going forward is to input a 15 minute English speech and see whether that impacts the processing time on the uh, seamless M4T. And also to see whether there are components in the process that can be eliminated so that the installs can be faster and more effective. Thanks for watching.